Hello everyone. Hi, my name is Aris Manso and I'm from Laikaju System. So today we're at one, uh, I think the largest skate park in Singapore, uh, East Coast, I think Extreme at East Coast. Right, so what we're going to do is we have the to go in my hand right now and we're going to scan this skate park. And uh, basically, just to let you guys know, uh, every 21st of June, uh, every year, right, so we skateboarder or most of the skateboarder or anyone related to skateboarding will celebrate skateboarding. Right, so let's go. Right, so I've started the initialization. However, we are not going to use the skateboard as a medium to, you know, scan it. Although it sounds like mobile mapping, uh, because you will lose the uh, detail of it. So what we're going to do is I'm going just going to walk and be patient with it. All right, so we've done with the. I think this is the the deepest bowl uh, in this skate park. So we're going to start to scan the rest of the skate park and after that, I'm going to go and skate. Alright, so I've done a bit of the skateboarding. I think we are good to go back and process the data. Alright, so let's go. Alright, so we're here and to complete the whole workflow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the file from the bk to go to the computer. So what you need to do is just take out the battery and make sure you have the type B, uh, type C, sorry, USB type C. Plug it in, put it on the table stand, and of course connect the um, BLK to go to your computer. So what will happen is it will highlight uh, and it will give you an indication that uh, the scanner or the BLK to go is connected to your computer and you are ready to transfer and I'm going to use the Cyclone Register PLK Edition okay all right using the Cyclone Register 360 is quite uh, simple and quite straightforward all right so what you need to do is just start to create a new project so once you're done uh, in this uh, user interface what you need to do is just go to BLK to go and uh, they're going to discover the device click connect and once you're done connected, you click uh, add to project or all your project will be listed in your left panel and what you need to do is you just uncheck all, just select whatever that is necessary one and two for example all right and you can actually select the there are some options, you can save the option into um, um, your local folder you can straight away export to E57 or uh, you can also define the trajectory or the waypoints uh, from within, within certain of intervals right so I just put 10 meter once you're done uh, you can import and just wait for it all right so once you're done imported all right so this is what you get uh, and I just link because I have two walks Right, so I just link them both. The I just link both of the walks together, right? Uh, and let's see the results, shall we? Let's go to Bunny Club. There you go. Right, so let's have a look at the edges. Right, and you can see uh, the curve or uh, the gradient uh, and the different level was captured uh, precisely and accordingly wavy uh, transition was also captured uh, properly all right so let's have a look at the deepest uh, bowl the one that i scanned earlier there you go it was also well captured and just to share with you i didn't actually go all the way down to the lowest level i just stay uh, uh, at the edge of the uh, this bowl area here ah, over here yep there you go so the staircase all right staircase was captured 
accordingly this looks good right so overall uh, i think overall is good uh, if i just want to get an overall area of this um, scan data i just go to this uh, let me just see this measure measure area and so maybe i just put to the area here and there you go so around 8000 square meter so within two walks i'm able to actually cover 8000 square meter area of this scan park all right so what else can we do with it uh, i'm going to export this out to lgs file and bring it into cyclone 3dr for further um, analysis all right so let's go and export this out set and finalize and there you go i have all the reports and under publish i can go click on the lgs all right start to publish i can create new number two click ok and start to publish and I'm going to check on the second 3 dr right? Um, next, we're going to open second 3 dr and try to do some of the analysis. And we're at second 3 dr and what I can do is I can just go and click import. I can drop the files or I can just click add the files. Click on that, click open. Uh, I can have the option to convert the files to certain points, images, spherical and click import. Okay, so while it's importing, I'm going to go and get a uh, coffee and I'll be right back. Oh, it's that. That's quick. Alright, so we have the data, the LGS data imported and converted in the Cyclone 3DR. It's fast, right? Uh, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I just want to calculate or try to see the area of this big deep bowl here all right uh, then maybe i can also create uh, another data from this uh, this um, uh, bowl uh, type 2 bowl here all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the top view right and maybe i just go straight away to select the point cloud right i already copied one click on the stop file then what i'm gonna do is this is a um, bowl area project so then I'm just gonna go volume unit is meter cube, uh, area unit is meter square and so on. Click on a new stockpile. Stockpile name one is actually the big bowl, right? So I just put uh, maybe uh, blue color. Material name is concrete, right? Material nature, grain size, etc. You can actually do that, right? So click OK. Right, then I'm just going to go and highlight the surface and I'm just going to trace the white, oh sorry, the yellow outline there. Like that. And once I'm done, I just click enter. So what it will do is actually just going to analyze, right? Uh, and of course, you can just try to see uh, this is basically what you can get, right? So you can see the data from VLK to go easily get all this information here all right let's just try to hit and click uh, preview so it's computing the mesh and volume uh, and let's see the result yep as expected we got see is i mean we can see the spikes and all but what you can do is you can just switch off the main cloud right get that and you can also turn off the ground mesh okay so this is basically the information that you need that you require so you get all this information you can click on ok next There you go. So this, uh, this is basically what you can do when it comes to uh, getting some information from the scan data of the to go Of course, uh, you can do more with Cyclone 3DR. Uh, and this is pretty much what you can actually do. And I hope uh, this whole entire workflow is uh, beneficial for you. And if you need more information, uh, you can just contact me or any of the local Lacker Geosystem partner. And to all the skateboarders, happy Go Skateboarding Day!